Praise the Lord, everybody. I am so honored to be here, even in this matter. And I apologize greatly that I'm not able to be with you in person. But I had to make sure that Apostle Kenneth Smith heard my voice and saw my face to wish him a wonderful, a glorious, a happy, and a prosperous new, not just new year, but birthday and a decade of promise and glory. I just decree and declare that on the, as you end this birthday, if you, as you end this year and you begin your new decade, that this is the entrance and the door of promise, of destiny, of purpose like never before. Man of God, I want you to know personally how much I love and appreciate you and honor you. I thank you for your sacrifice, for you walking away from almost 30 years of something that you particularly love, the prison ministry, and being willing to lay that down, even for even if it's for a season, and to come and feel the need here in Liberty Temple Bolingbrook. Your help with you and your wife has been a tremendous sacrifice and a tremendous help to me because without you and your wife stepping in, I do not know what I would have done. And so today we would be remiss if we did not honor you, if we did not honor your sacrifice, all of the things that you have done and how you have seamlessly stepped in to help us and navigate, not just through all the normal things of ministry, but also in the midst of a pandemic. And so for that man of God, I am forever grateful. And I want you to know I love you and I honor you and bless you. And I want to say to all of Liberty Bolingbrook, listen, do not sleep on this man of God and what God has given us and has given you and has served you for all this time since he has been here. Listen, don't take for granted the service that God has allowed us to have through this great man of God. Happy birthday, Apostle Ken. Love you. And I look forward to talking with you soon.